30,000 calories of Halloween candy in 24 hours. That's what I challenged myself to do for this year's Halloween challenge. The rules are simple. The challenge is not so simple. I have 24 hours to consume 30,000 calories. Those calories have to come only from Halloween candy. Everyone, I've done some pretty insane calorie challenges in my life, but this calorie challenge might just go down as one of the most difficult ones I've ever attempted. This is the 30,000 calorie Halloween candy challenge. strategy time. The average piece of Halloween candy contains between 80 to 100 calories. That means I'll have to consume between 300 to 375 pieces of Halloween candy in order to meet my 30,000 calorie goal. Eating just straight up Halloween candy is going to be very, very difficult, mainly because it's just straight sugar, which is why I made sure to choose candy with a balance of fat and sodium in order to avoid flavor fatigue as much as possible. All right, everybody. I have a lot of candy in these bags right here. This is going to be one of the craziest calorie challenges that I've ever attempted to do. Like always though, before I get into the calorie craziness, it's time to get a little pre-challenge weight. It's time to get meal number one assembled. Gosh, this is gonna be insane. Unsweet all milk. It's gonna help out a lot. I'm gonna really need to strategize with this challenge, so let's figure out what I'm gonna do for meal number one. Like 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 2800. All right, everybody, so I think I've got meal number one assembled and ready to go. Like I said earlier, I have no idea how this is gonna go. I've done crazy, candy-based challenges in one sitting, but I've never tried to take down an insane amount of candy in 24 hours, so who knows what's gonna happen. The amount of sugar today uh, is gonna be crazy. It's gonna be ridiculous. But if you guys believe in me, if you think I can get to that 30,000 calorie goal, go ahead and comment down below. Spooky, because it's Halloween. Oh, and speaking of spooky and Halloween, I know I don't have my costume on yet, but stick around. Now that that's out of the way, I think I'm ready to get into this challenge. Where's my phone? Uh. So it's October 17th, 12.15, and I'm ready to get this challenge started. I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories for this meal right here, right up there for you guys, and also the total macros for this meal will be right up there as well. Without further ado, my friends, my family, this is the 30,000 calorie Halloween candy cheat day challenge. Let's do this. All right, everybody, first things first, you guys know what to do. Go ahead and give the video a like if you haven't approved today. By the way, this is gonna be our trash receptacle today. All the trash is gonna go in here. Alrighty, now it's time to get this started. Alrighty, everybody, it's time to get this challenge started in three, two, and one. are down. Now I think it's time to get I'm over to our Twix. So far it's going great. It's the worst part about Halloween is just you get all your candy and then it's just unwrapping all of your candy. Twix, it's all mess. Right, Twix is down. So far, it's going great. I mean, I really didn't plan on starting with this much chocolate. Probably a bad decision. Might be a good decision. I don't know. Actually, none of this is a good decision, so. Whatever. Now it's time to move on over to one of my favorite Halloween candies, or chocolate bars, whatever you want to call it. Butterfingers. And fun fact about Butterfingers, they're gluten-free. Just in case you wanted to know. Mm. 
W. Oh. W. Butterfingers are down. Uh, next, I think it's time to move on over to these Creepy Cocoa Crisp M&Ms. Let's see what we got here. Let's go. Let's try it. Hmm. Not bad. This is another one of those videos where I really hope my dentist isn't watching. M&Ms are down, um, those are actually pretty good. And now it's time to move on over to the Kit Kat Witch's Brew over here. I'm not really too sure what this is. Crisp wafers and marshmallow flavored cream and naturally and artificially flavored. We're gonna find out if these are, these are worth it or not. All right, Witch's Brew Kit Kats. Let's do it. All right, I'm gonna say those are worth it. You go far. Now it's time to move on over to our last item here, which is the Franken Cup Reese's. These are Reese's cups with green colored cream, apparently. I'm really not too sure what happened to them, but I mean, it's Halloween. So it's okay for candy to not look pretty. Ooh, just like that, everybody. That has been meal number one. I gotta say, everything tasted absolutely amazing. I mean, it's candy, so how could it not? <laughs> so it's currently 12.51, still the same day. I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories consumed right up there for you guys, along with the total macros. Those will be put right up there as well. Now, everybody, it's time for me to put all this sugar to use. Ooh. Talk about a sugar crash. All right, everybody, you could say that I just had quite the sugar crash. I knew this was gonna happen. I just didn't think it would happen this early on in the challenge, but regardless, I think it's time to get to our second meal. I'm gonna do some M&M glow-in-the-dark chocolate, and then I have some variety pack candy bars on this. We already have enough Reese's on this table, so those will go over there for now. Oh. It's Halloween. It's peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly. Okay, I won't do it. I like bananas, all right? Why not dress like a banana for Halloween? And speaking of bananas, I feel like meal two needs a little addition. Alrighty, perfect. We have a nice strawberry banana smoothie just to get some vitamins in today. Alrighty, folks, I think I'm ready to get meal number two started. We're running a little bit behind here on time. October 17th, still the same day. I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories for this meal right up there, and the total macros for this meal will be right over there. Without further ado, everybody, this is meal number two. may have noticed that today I have not been having any diet soda. The reason why I haven't had any is just because I really need some, really need bitterness to just counteract all this sweetness. So that's why we're drinking iced coffee. I think I'm gonna get into one of my favorites first. Alrighty folks, it's time to start with our paydays. So I'm gonna get this started in three, two, and one. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, that saltiness. That is everything I need right now. Yeah, sorry, boy. This, this, this banana suit was a terrible decision. It was getting very hot in there. Mm. Don't worry, though. I have a better, well, my Halloween costume is gonna level up.
anticipated. Let's get on over to these glow in the dark MMs. This is what I always dreamed of doing as a kid. I don't know if I should be proud or absolutely disgusted with myself. Well, her MMs are down. Look at a lot of MMs. Goodness gracious. Alright, now we're gonna move on over to our Reese's White Pumpkins. These are white Reese's peanut butter cups with white cream. And as you guys can can tell, well, I'll just say that the Reese's seem to have been misshaped in every single package. And uh, I really don't know why. I mean, at least it still tastes like a Reese's. Alright, so let's try out the Reese's pumpkins. Here we go. I guess this is a peanut butter cup bar. Eh, even if it's melted, it's still delicious. All right, wait, well, all the Reese's are down. Now I got this plate and then uh, whatever I decided to eat in these chocolate bars right here. But I'm getting to the point where I need a little change in scenery. Thankfully, decided to bring these to the party. I'm actually really surprised. I'm just now using these. You guys are confused as to why I have Cheetos on the table right now? Well, you probably haven't watched enough of my sweet challenges because you probably don't know about flavor fatigue. It's a very, very real thing. And it's really not too fun. That's exactly what I'm going through right now. To be honest, I'm debating whether or not I should even get into this box of chocolate bars, but Mrs. Electric made something and I think it would go really good in this challenge. Now these, my friends and family, are homemade Twix bars. Regular Twix bar, homemade Twix bar. Let's see. Not bad. I am 100,000% going to regret eating all this chocolate tomorrow morning. 100,000%. Well, we got some Milky Ways on here. These are just simply caramel Milky Ways. If you guys are here still with me, just go ahead and comment down below whatever your favorite Halloween candy is. Because there's a very, very high chance that I've probably consumed it in this video. Just saying. Fairly high chance. Well, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm just gonna forego this plate because I've already eaten enough Twickers and Snicks, Snicks, Snickers, Twig, Twiggers? Why? Twix and Snickers. I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories up there. Total macros will be right up there as well. So it's about 454, still the same day. I am going to brush my teeth and I'm gonna try to move my body again in some way, shape or form. where every single time I do one of these crazy calorie challenges, each one affects me differently. I need salt in my life. Sounds good. Hey, how's it going? Good, how about you? 
straight. We'll get it for you today. Can I get two orders of fries, please? All right, so six twenty-three. Thank you. Thank you. It's probably the smallest Wendy's order I've ever made. Oh my goodness, I feel like a chocolate panda right now. Just a big chocolate panda. Thanks a lot. All right, everybody, well, here we are. This is the point in the challenge where I legit just don't even feel like I'm a part of my own body anymore, but here we are. This is a lot of candy, eh, why not? Goodness gracious, it's a lot of candy. We have meal number three right here. All right, so it is currently seven o'clock, still October 17th. Uh, the only things I really want right now in my life are salt and water. I have salt right there and I have water over there somewhere. I cannot believe how difficult this challenge has been so far. Um, but regardless, I hope you guys are enjoying this challenge and I hope you guys are enjoying your Halloween. I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories for this meal right up there and total macros will be right up there. Without further ado, everybody, it's time for meal number three. Who would have thought that all this candy finally would make me just have muscles? Every piece of candy is generally between 70 to 100 calories. So for each plate, I'm just estimating, all right? Because I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about that. How could I forget my beverages? Goodness gracious. Always gotta come prepared. I'll pick that up later. Still worth the almond joy. It's been a while since I've had these. And then I remembered I'm not a fan. Well, I'm omitting the milk duds from this meal just because I can. Seriously, if somebody found a way to unwrap Halloween candy in the most time efficient way, they'd be a billionaire, right? There needs to be like a special machine that just shears off the unnecessary packaging that we use for Halloween candy. Give the video a like if you agree with me or just comment down below. Or you could just tell me that I'm an absolute genius for saying something like that. We got a fair amount of candy down. Next, I have to get to something that I should have gotten to much earlier in this video. All my OG subscribers should know what's coming. It's a yearly tradition on this channel. I've been doing this for a while, but before I get to it, oh my goodness gracious, oh my goodness. Every time I open one of these, I just, I get so happy to see it, even though I shouldn't be. Oh my goodness. It is magnificent. Just take a moment to admire that half pound Reese's peanut butter cup. Let's just take that moment and break it open. Just like so. Ooh. There we go. So unnecessary, but so delicious. Anyways, everybody, it's time to make some spooky sauce. If you guys don't know what spooky sauce is, you're about to find out. Oh. Step one, get a bowl. Step two. Place Reese's in bowl or any chocolate candy that you desire. Step three, place bowl in microwave. Step four, microwave. And there we have it, the base for the spooky sauce. Now all you guys gotta do is mix accordingly. And that, my friends and family, is the spooky sauce. W. Oh. W. Mm. 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 
you. Come on, this is something I need inside of my body as soon as possible. That's what she said! Mmm. Mmm. I'm sorry, I just had a moment. Mmm. Hopefully this goes to my actual arms. Oh, oh. It's definitely not good. Alright everyone, whoa. I just gotta be 100% honest, there's no way I'm spending time unwrapping that. And I don't even know about that, but I think I gotta resort to tactics right now. Special tactics. Desperate times call for desperate measures. That's a lot of Twix bars. Tonight's gonna be very rough. Alright, I don't even know what I just made, but it's like 4,000 calories. Oh, man. Everyone, my stomach is just in shambles right now. Absolute shambles. You guys still believe me? Comment down below. Sour. Because hopefully this sour candy is going to help out. It just tastes like sugar. Escalated quickly. Oh my goodness. I feel so. Oh, I feel so much better. Oh man. Well, everybody, uh, I don't think I've actually ever done that before in the middle of a calorie challenge like this. Unfortunately, this was an epic, epic fail. This is like the first time I've ever legitimately failed to get to my goal for a 24 hour calorie challenge and I really had no idea how this was gonna go. And uh, regardless, I can't win them all. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to call it quits, throw in the candy wrapper and just say that's gonna be it. But just because I am curious, I'm gonna show you all my ending body weight right now. Regardless of whether I finished or not, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna go ahead and put last year's Halloween challenge right along the sidebar, along with another calorie challenge that I think you guys are gonna enjoy as well. Of course, if you guys like these calorie challenges and wanna see more, subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, and I'll see you all in the next food challenge.